All right, I am Edward Pivos for MLive, and I am here with a man that doesn't really need an introduction, but I'm gonna give him one anyway, Michael Bolton, the singer, the filmmaker. This is awesome, American Dream Detroit. We're, by the way, we're in the Redford Theater. Um, just an example of an amazing place in Detroit, which is one of the things that, you know, one of the reasons you just, you love Detroit, and that's why you're making this movie. I mean, have you been here before, by the way? I've never it? been here before. It's a it's beautiful awesome. theater. I was actually quite surprised. Um, you've got a, you've got a bunch of beautiful theaters in Detroit. Oh my gosh, yes. And uh, there are a lot of people who don't know that, actually. We've done interviews with them. I've interviewed the Illich family, uh, Chris Illich in, at the Fox Theater. And I walked in and I was like, why didn't I know about this place? <laughs> this place is astounding. And I think that defines, yeah, I think that defines why you're doing this movie. Why didn't I know about this place? There's so many mm -hmm. things about Detroit that you're gonna bring in this movie that people can see and that you discovered yourself, right? Yeah, that's true, and there are incredible places, but there are also a lot of great people that we've met here and become very attached to during the process of filming. And you find yourself rooting for them and realizing that um, the greater the city of Detroit does, the greater my friends will do. And then that gives you a personal stake in, in what you're doing. And I never have a problem coming back to film any time of year. It doesn't matter if it's snowing and freezing or whatever's going on. Because I got a bunch of friends here. We're gonna we're gonna film. We're gonna cover the new businesses that are opening, the, the new look downtown, um, and we're gonna hang out with our friends and eat at some of the many many choices uh, for great food. Now, are there any? Uh, yeah, are there any restaurants that uh, are your go-to places? Kind of when you come back here. Uh, for you been coming back here for what, like at least six years shooting this, it's four or five, six years shooting the movie? It's been it's quite, a, quite a few times, but I, I don't like to mention my, my first choices because I, I am a creature of habit and I do wind up at between five and seven restaurants um, and I enjoy them all. But every once in a while somebody, somebody just says, you, I, you haven't been here, Michael, so I want to show you this place. And, and I'm good to go. Yeah, and there's a lot of those in Detroit. We have and such love, a love diverse the river, the amount of food. Beautiful. Yeah. Some great restaurants right there too. Now, what's what your names? The Italian <laughs> restaurant in Andiamo. <laughs> and yeah, that's a good one. We didn't say that though. Um, what do you want people who? Okay, so there's two different types of Detroit. There's the stereotype of people that have never been here, which was you at one point. You had never been here. You just hear things. And there's people that like me that have lived here their whole lives and and know. The, you know, how great the people are and, and the places. What do you want people watching this movie, those two audiences, kind of to see? The primary is um, that there's a lot of people, there are a lot of people I've spoken to about what I'm doing with this film and they like had no idea why we would consider Detroit. They have not seen all the positive coverage that we've basically filmed. They have no idea of what Detroiters are made of. <clears throat> but um, I think, you know, in a five-year period of time, you, you see so much that um, you wind up telling all these people and educating them. The film <clears throat> goes further because we have great archival footage. And you see Detroit as the fourth biggest city in America. You see the heyday. <clears throat> you see the factories that were turned into... Um, arsenals of uh, democracy where, you know, um, military-grade vehicles were made for our troops. And um, you see this bustling, giant, amazing city that looks like New York City on its busiest day. And I think that helps you understand the past of a great city. Makes you feel a little more sympathetic, even if you don't understand how tough things got in the late 60s. But now we're able through our film to show people restaurants, businesses uh, started by young entrepreneurs who could have opted to, um, to move to Silicon Valley and just tough it out there until they either make it or don't. They're doing it here. So we're covering them, we're interviewing them. Um, there's a great art community here. There's a lot of things that, uh, that, that pictures will do a lot of the talking for. But what you can't really replace is the, the great people you got to know that you you just are very, very friendly with, that you want to succeed. Um, and I think the movie's going to succeed in making people feel that, that way when they meet 
our characters and cast of characters, including some of the most amazing, successful icons in music, TV, and film. Yeah, I think in the movie you interviewed uh, Aretha Franklin, uh, Smokey, I mean, um, some of the, uh, Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper, Francis Ford Coppola. Um, it, 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 there's and that's just a from, tiny fraction yeah, of the, all the greats that have come out of that's here. That's a so. fraction, yeah. yeah. Um, and they, when they talk about Detroit, there's like love is going on. Yeah. Their eyes start to sparkle. It really is a different perspective from people that have lived here and people that haven't, and I hope that that's a lot of people get out of your movie, is just to see a little glimpse of how great this place is and to come visit for yourself. And that's what you did, you fell in love with it, and we're really glad you are making this movie. Yeah, they they did make the, this movie. All of that, uh, all of the above is why we're excited about the film. Yeah, And you can see the movie Tuesday night at 7 o'clock nationwide, 450 theaters. This is the only place, though, right here at the Redford Theater, that you can watch it with the man himself, Michael oh, Bolton. Yeah. I, I will be here. I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just break that to you? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> so there you go. We're going we, we're gonna to have the link. Everything's going to be there, but one night only, 7 o'clock, Tuesday, all across the country. This is really cool. So thank you again. Thank you. And uh, good seeing you. I'm Edward Pivos with Michael Bolton for M Live.